Hello Cancer. Cancer, welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages that you need to know at this present moment in time. Cancer, it is always important to allow your intuition to be available as you're listening to this reading, really using your own wisdom and your own discernment. We are going to be looking at the bottom of the deck to see what it is that you need to know at this present moment in time. Cancer, the divine is saying it is time to let go of some heartbreaks. It is time to cut the cords and it is time for you to release yourself from karmic situations. The divine is saying to you that there's just a situation, whether it was connected to your childhood, whether it is something that is happening currently or in between. The divine is saying, Cancer, set yourself free because you have amazing things that are waiting for you. So why would you choose to feel like this when you have all these beautiful energies that are at your disposal for you to take, for you to claim, for you to embody? Cancer, only you can answer that question. So what we're going to do, we are going to look at our oracle cards as well in a moment. But first of all, I can see there's another card here. But first of all, what we are going to do, we're going to take a moment to look at the energies that are currently available on the table. Remember, if you need your own personal reading done, my website is in the description box below. Cancer, like I said, instead of feeling like this, you have an opportunity to shift and move your energy and transform your life in a powerful way. It literally is like you're currently at a crossroad and it is time for you to break through any barriers. It is time for you to show up strong and to claim your power and to take your power and to go on a journey of liberation. The journey of liberation, not only does it lead to your health improving, it also sees you making more money, creating more stability because you're in a state of feeling good. The divine says to you, you're going to be seeing that there is going to be a motivation. Maybe this motivation is right, happening right now. If it is, comment the money emoji in the comment section below because the knights are brave and the divine is saying when you are here you feel powerless you feel bound you are not in your power but as you cut the cords and release yourself you step in this energy where you feel brave to go towards a new beginning the divine is saying though slow and steady wins the race don't rush into the next chapter don't rush into the next thing but rather take your time because you are going to be seeing that you are creating firm foundations for yourself where you are going to be seeing that your money, your health, your possessions, everything is increasing. So why do you want to stay here is another question. I see that for many of you, you are no longer willing to stay in painful situations, but rather you are motivated to take time as advised by the energy of the four of swords to do the healing that you need to do look here your heart was broken your heart was being torn in many different places and now you take your power back you allow yourself time to rejuvenate you allow yourself time to heal you allow yourself time to be in the present moment so that you can you can do the healing that you need you can repair yourself so that you feel whole you feel complete because before you know it, it is going to be time to take some action, to activate the star card, our first major arcana card, where it's indicating that because your vibration is completely different to this, you activate a new chapter coming into your life. The star card is about your wishes coming true and much, much more than that. But again, the divine is saying, before we get here, we are going to be going on a journey and part of this journey includes doing the healing that you need, whether you're going to do counseling, whatever way or whatever modality that you choose, go and do that because there's a sense of liberation and there's a sense of taking your power back in the healing that you're going to be doing that allows you to step in your power and start activating the energies of the star card where your wishes are coming true because the star card is being followed by another major arcana card of the world card which is the last major arcana card in tarot 
the world card is about energy of completing a cycle. You have gone through a painful cycle. You have gone through a cycle that you just felt that your heart was being torn. You were being tested. You were being put through it. Don't over identify with the struggle because the more you over identify with the struggle, the more you feel powerless to take the action that you need. You are stuck in the past. So it is time for you, like I told you, to turn around and to go in a new direction that sees you feeling empowered to do the things that are going to see you healing so that you can walk into the next chapter of your life. So you are here. The number three, you're going on a journey where you're being brave and you're activating the energies of the number four where you're stable where you feel like finally life makes sense, where you feel good about yourself. So go and take some time out. Self-care is important. Forgive yourself and be in that energy of understanding that you are going on a journey of self-discovery and the self-discovery that you're on, the journey that you're on is going to be leading to these beautiful chapters that are here. So the divine is saying, say your prayers, but remember for your prayers to come true. Remember, we saw the energies of the night, the night of Pentacles. So for your prayers to come true, you have to be proactive. You have to take some action to leave this, to cut the cords, to dissolve the situation so that you can liberate yourself to go towards a new beginning that is here. Cancer, your wishes are here. They are for the taking but your vibration has to equal what you're wanting. You have to be a vibrational match to be able to receive what you're praying for. Your key has to be able to turn the lock and open the doors to your wishes coming true. And when your energies are like this, you are not an energetic match. You are not the key that opens this. To be the right key that opens your wishes coming, your wishes coming true is connected to your healing the four of swords so let's get a oracle card and let's see what the oracle cards have to say cancer we have our solstice ceremony our candle magic ceremony that is going to be happening on the 22nd of december and so i am inviting you to come and be part of that because when you are part of that you allow this to exit your life and you start bringing new beginnings towards you because the solstice is all about journeying. It's all about understanding what is ending and what is starting. It's about working with the energies. So everything you need to know about the candle magic ceremony on the 22nd of December, a powerful date, is all linked in the description box below. So let's have a look to see what our oracle cards have to say. So the oracle cards that you're receiving is asking you, of course, interesting. Plain and simple, right? The divine is saying that for some of you, you have been ignoring the red flags for way too long. And in ignoring the red flags, you bind yourself. A situation becomes karmic. And the more a situation becomes karmic, the more painful it becomes. So you're at the verge of breaking this karmic cycle, of releasing this karmic cycle, of freeing yourself from this imprisonment that is here. And so the divine is saying, going forward, do not ignore the obvious, do not ignore the red flags. It is time for you to understand that trusting your intuition is important. Okay, always trusting that gut instinct is important. Once you've done the healing and your wishes have come true and all of that, do not ever allow yourself to end up in situations like this where people take advantage of you, where people break your heart, where people see that you're an empath and they use your energy against you. The divine is saying, if the vibe is off, you are never allowing someone else to drive the sword in your heart to stab you in the back. And I love the fact that our cards are telling you the same energy repeating the same message. So sometimes it is uncomfortable to hear the truth. But in my readings, I always tell you that I do not sugarcoat anything 
I want you to do the healing. I want you to receive your blessings so that you understand that being a vibrational match is the secret, is the key to receiving. So the divine is saying that going forward, you're going to be trusting your instinct. And if the vibe is off, the vibe is off for a reason. And you're starting to see that when people show you the true colors, you are going to start believing them the first time. You're no longer in that energy of giving people 10, 20 chances. And each time you're acting shocked that the person has repeated the same behavior. You're acting surprised that your gut instinct was telling you that something was wrong, but you overrode that gut instinct. You ignored the red flags and then a situation plays out and you're like, how, why did this happen? Well, the red flags were flying high, but for some reason you are always wanting to be the nice person because you've been hurt and you don't want to hurt other people. But sometimes you need to understand that disappointing other people means you are protecting yourself. So going forward, you're starting to understand that if someone is a clown, they're a clown. And it is not your duty or your responsibility to fix them. Allow clowns to be clowns. Allow people to be where they are at this present moment in time. Yes, you can assist. Yes, you can help. Yes, you can try to give a helping hand. But you are not putting all the effort. The person has to want to get help. Otherwise, all the efforts that you're putting in, you're ultimately ending up hurting yourself. Cancer, this is a message that I have for you. If you found value in this reading, please do give this video a big thumbs up and comment in the comment section and claim your wish is coming true with this star emoji because I appreciate the interaction and the people who watch all the readings all the way to this point. May all your wishes come true and the divine bless you with the healing that you need so that you can truly cut those cords and release yourself from this imprisonment that is here. Cancer, this is the message that I have and it is a goodbye from me.